But good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we're drinking a beer that was sent to me by uh, El Harlock or Lee from Hoogley's Beer Review. This is Oland Export Ale. Oland uh, was bought out by Labatt. It's five percent alcohol. Uh, there's a uh, lion on here. Look at that lion. Isn't that an amazing lion? I could draw better lions than that. And I'm blind. Um, really old company. Uh, apparently this is a staple for kitchen parties in Nova Scotia. So this is like... Every house party ends up in it. Lucky Lager what? of Nova Scotia? Every house party ends up in the kitchen. Lucky Lager. Yeah, you're right. The Lucky Lager of Nova Scotia, yes. But this is an ale. What's the difference between an ale and a lager? It looks like a lager. It's, uh... Tons of head, no head. Well, that's because I pour every, mine very aggressively. Every time we pour, it turns out like this. One one way or the other. But, um... Very golden, lagery colored. It, it actually looks like, like a Molson Canadian or really anything. Coors Light. Just average beer. Yeah. It uh, kind of smells like urine. Coors Light. Urine. <laughs> urine, for sure, yeah. Smell that. It smells like the urine I just took a few hours ago. So you drink normal crazy beer and you pee out Oland Export Ale. Yes, you drink stouts and you piss out this. I probably even have the head on it. I knew the Germans were freaking us all this time. Fuck. <laughs> What's, an, what's a heading agent? Uh, a lot of these brews, Take that. because they put rice and uh, corn syrup and everything else in their beer to make it make it uh, cheaper. Yep. And because they add water to their high gravity brew to make it cheaper too, a lot of them have no color and can't get the head because they don't have the bonding agents in the in the hops and malt anymore. So they add a heading agent. Heading agents are usually glycinol and stuff like that. So like You're like a freeze. quantum physicist of beer, man. Fuck. That's, that's awesome. why he does this. I know. I know that's why he does this. This is why I do this. I had no idea. So glycinol... No, gly antifreeze isn't a glycinol. No. Glycinol. Yeah, what the, what the mechanic said. Glycinol, <laughs> yeah. The word you've been trying to pronounce, you drunken fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it's not just fuck uh. Yeah, uh, it's not just fuck uh. There's a lot of drunken fucks down here. I'm sober as the oh, day is long. You're such a fucking liar. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Let's drink it. Uh oh, shaky. Kind of tastes like pee. <laughs> yes, I have. It tastes like Canadian. Why? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> no, no, let's. <laughs> it's beer. It's not like it's not like blue. Like blue is like has like some sort of weird metallic taste to it. Canadian. This the thing's camera like, man thinks blue is the best thing ever. Really? Ten out of ten. Well, look how much man. metal is in his head. Of course, he likes the metallic <laughs> beers. It's wood in his ears. Yeah, beers, not ears. Look at his face. I have two piercings in it. How much of your junk? That's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Internet. Red <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, red tube call. Red tube. <laughs> I could I could easily see this being like a normal house party beer though, like the kitchen party, like he said to me. This wouldn't offend anyone. This is like what you always say: Canadian breweries go out of their way. To make bland, non-offensive beer. Oh yes, this. They talk about Bud and everything being a bulk, a bulk American golden lager. This is a bulk Canadian golden lager. That's all it is. But it says ale, but it's lying. It's not a fucking ale. Um, there's no fruitiness to it. There's no really maltiness to it. There's a corn chip soaked in soda water with a little bit of hop extract. And, and some sugar. I think they put sugar in after that brews. Well, no, the, the corn syrup they add to it is adding corn sh corn sugar to it to just give it the alcohol percentage. I mean... 
<laughs> what you're probably tasting is like yellow number five. Is <laughs> what they probably put in it to color it. Right, right. Well, what's that sugar <laughs> thing that's like diabetics and shit eat? Boy truck. Equal. Some of some kind of sugar Equal about diabetics. Glucose. It's a type of sugar. No, no, that the diabetics Dextrose. can have. Huh? That diabetics can have. Do they put dextrose, dextrose is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Sucralose, aspartame, so on yeah. so forth. Su sucralose blah, blah, blah. is the only one. Do they put that shit in here? Like, so they it won't could. Ferment? They could do whatever they want. Well, the sugar is what causes the alcohol percentage, right? So... Well, does fake sugar make alcohol? We could ask Paul to find out. Boy Chuck, does fake sugar make alcohol? I don't know or give a shit. Just fake sugar? Like a bag of fake sugar? No. Well, I mean like a bag of diabetic <laughs> sugar. Like the old people, the pink packet <laughs> shit. I know they put sugar or they make Sweet the alcohol. Low? Sweet and low. Yeah, like My this. grandmother loves that shit. <laughs> she steals it from McDonald's. <laughs> nice! I steal. I she steal, sends I, her... I steal hot sauce from work. Taco Bell. She <laughs> sends her 14 year old grandkids up to steal fucking sweet and low from mcdonald's that's like this woman i know you well want to know what you guys can send me if you want to send me a christmas gift a box of sweet and low so i can send it to my granny <laughs> and butter bricks yes and bricks of butter but she buys bricks of butter by the pound when they're on sale my buddy so she'll have butter but not real sugar yes what the fuck she's diabetic you can get as fat as you want, eating fat. But then she's gonna lose her foot even faster. It doesn't matter. Diabetes, no no hell of a thing. Right. She's in her 70s, let her do whatever she wants. My parents she's like 79. <laughs> you were uh, an accident, weren't you? Yeah, am I wrong? Probably. <laughs> Anyway, um, I would give this like a 5 out of 10. There's nothing offensive about it, but I would never really drink it again. This here is American baseball beer. This is the shit they drink to make baseball entertaining. I give it like a 3 out of 10. It's no taste. It's baseball is never entertaining. Like, you should just fuck it. I'll just fucking dip this and suck it off. Like, ah. <laughs> like, it's horrible. Uh, worse than Dick Danger right there. That took it. You were waiting Did for you this just one? give? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, he, he fucking, uh, he, he mouth-fucked himself with the fucking BB bar fly there. Yeah, mouth-fucked himself. Hey, Brian, did you ever think your fucking bottle openers would be used to deep throat? On a dude? <laughs> ah. <laughs>